Now it's time for your morning rush. All the top stories you need to know before you head out the door. Uh, first, we now know the name of the three people who were shot and killed at that Lexington apartment complex yesterday. Their 28-year-old Branton Booker, 26-year-old Sheldon Livingston, and 27-year-old Dewan Williams. The shooting happened at about 11 in the morning at the Woodland Village apartment on Butternut Lane. Officials say three people were killed. They all lived in those apartments. Deputies say details are still limited, but they say this was not random. This was a targeted shooting, so now they need your help to put the pieces together. You can call 911 or Crime Stoppers. In Richland County, deputies are continuing to investigate the shooting of a 14-year-old girl. It happened last night around 5.30 near Astor Circle. That's between Shop and Bluff Roads. Deputies say the teen was a passenger in the car when bullets came through the rear glass window. She was taken to the hospital. Her condition is unknown at this time, but anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Well, a former North Carolina school resource officer who was caught on camera body slamming a young student could actually face jail time. Surveillance video shows Officer Warren Durham slamming an 11 year old boy to the ground twice. Yesterday, the DA said that the officer isn't going to face felony charges, but a warrant was issued for his arrest. He also said since the officer had no prior convictions, the most he could get would be 120 days in jail. President Trump is on the verge of becoming the third president in history to be impeached. Today, the House of Representatives will consider two articles of impeachment against Mr. Trump. Nearly all Democrats have indicated they will vote to approve at least one, enough to send the matter to the Senate for trial. And also happening today, right here in the Midlands, the Richland Library is going to open its 13th location in Lower Richland. The new library will be located off of Gardner's Ferry Road in Hopkins. It has a cultivated collection, public computers, laptops, collaborative spaces, and programs that will help teach our kids to read and workforce development as well and social services. Uh, if you'd like to be there for the big moment, the ribbon cutting ceremony is going to be at 2.30 and then they will be open until 6 o'clock tonight.